All right. Hey, Collective. How y'all doing out there today? So we're going to continue to work with these archetype type cards. Because they be a little interesting to me, y'all. And I think Spirit really want me to work with them. It is Spirit that convinced me to get them. All right. I was so set against them, y'all. Finally broke down and got them. Now, let's tap in and see what's going on, what Spirit wants you to know from the day. Now, that 12 o'clock midnight reading was pretty interesting. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Interested to know. Now, I must say they do get a little interesting when I know the people on the cards. However, in most cases, I just have to go with my intuition. However, when I know the person, I'm able to draw a little bit more. Now, you have Maya X out here with strength. Now, a lot of you guys are actually exhibiting your strength at this time. Now, I had to actually look at this picture twice because it said Beyonce. Now, Beyonce, I'm telling you, the girl is taking on a lot of different looks. <laughs> I can't even barely recognize it. And this really doesn't look like her. Now, I don't know what that got to do with anything, but I had to take a double double look. Now, maybe you're looking different to people. Not this is a bad thing either. All right? Maybe you're looking a little different. you have knowledge. Now, maybe that got something to do with your knowledge. Strength and knowledge coming out here. Looking pretty good, y'all. Looking pretty good. And you have order. Now, maybe your knowledge is bringing a little bit of order. <laughs> and some hustle into your life. Now, what a wonderful thing when you can use your knowledge. And bring a little hustle into your life, right? Entrepreneurship going on here. Strength, knowledge, and order. Now, maybe it's some type of collaboration. Could have something to do with generational wealth. But let's see. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Now, of course, these always want to be on the scene as of lately. So we're going to use those two. But let's pull these first. Now I kind of like the duo in regards to this collaboration with the cards. I like this duo. Now maybe it's some type of duo or collaboration that you're about to take on that you're going to like. And you have reveal what needs to be seen with strength. Now, sometimes this card, because, you know, reading over the cards, there may be um, some conversation in regards to uh, intimacy or even connections where there may be uh, personal information discussed. Now, this card tells you to... Um, Reveal only what you feel comfortable revealing. Aligning with strength. You know, don't make nobody force your hand. You know. But we'll see. We'll tap in a little bit more. And see where this is going. Now you also have knowledge here. And again... Has a lot to do with information shared. It's telling you to focus on the positivity. All right. Like, listen, 
You don't have to express and share your war stories. If you don't feel comfortable, you can simply choose to focus on the positive. Yeah. We're moving away from trauma bonding. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Now you had a tune with the divine on order. Woo! I'm liking this already. Now this is Mia X. Now Baha Mahamadia. I don't know how to say that. And Nikki D. I'm going to let you look at the name, though. Because, child, I just don't know. And I don't even really think it's important at this time. I think it's just the uh, word itself that's very important here today. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, it's telling you to go wild. Tap into your natural instincts. Your creativity, work on the shadow, and be true to yourself, boo. And it's lining up with this hustle right here. Now, we're going to pay attention to everything that's at the bottom of each deck. Of course, we are, because that's what you don't see coming. Now, I do see you getting your hustle on. Now, people might be going wild for what you got to offer, boo. Now, some of you guys might even want to um, write books where you can focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. Audio, whatever, whatever this is. Reveal what needs to be seen. Something going on here. Tap into spirit. Spirit ain't going to never lead you wrong. something is going on here you got manifestations with strength and reveals what needs to be seen now this is the magician the alchemist tapping in utilizing your knowledge to bring your reality into existence with this harvest at the bottom of the deck Now, to bring those manifestations in, you know you have to focus on the positive. All the knowledge you have attained through the spiritual process. To clear your energy up and all that good jazz. Now, I think spirit has been wanting us to really focus on our attitude. <laughs> those triggers. To know how to balance that out. I know it has been for me, boo. Yeah. I know this. I'm going to just give myself an example. You know, even though, you know, because I'm a little stubborn. And I'm here to admit that. Dang. As soon as I was talking about the alchemist. Right here on all this. Focus on the positive with the alchemist. Taking those negative situations and turn them into a positive for you. Alchemizing them to your benefit. Like uh, trigger moments. I find myself, why am I being triggered by this spirit? Why am I being triggered by this? You know? So I focus on that. Really analyze it. Dig deep. Go all the way back to my childhood in regards to, you know, things that may have made me feel uncomfortable in that same regard. Analyze that situation. Work through it. Get through it. Understand it, it's just the mind, it's just the fear trying to keep me in a low vibration. You know, sometimes uh, when we reflect on the negative in regards to some of the uh, feedback conversations, the things that we uh, take on 
some people actually might have a good intent behind these uh, things that's being said. But we can get triggered by uh, past experiences. And those are the things we need to analyze. If it's coming from a good space or not. I have been challenged by that. Last month, I want to say. And I think I had a radical rebirth. <laughs> In regards to thought. Yeah. Right here with the mask. Coming right out the desk. Taking them off. Coming into order. In alignment. Being true with yourself, boo. That's what you're doing. Yeah, now we got 9-9 nine, nine here with 11 in the middle. And I like this. A tuning. Coming into order with self. And right back at the bottom of the deck is harvest. With that hustle and go wild. Something going on, y'all. <laughs> Something is going on. Yes. I think you got the knowledge and the know-how to alchemize these situations. This alchemy is 38, which is at 11. I think we're learning, y'all. I think we're really learning. And both these nines does indicate transformation. Now, it's about to be summertime. I told y'all a lot of things is going to happen. A lot of you guys have ascended. And you need to pat yourself on the back. You have exuded a lot of strength, knowledge, and order in your own lives at this time. And you need to recognize that. It's reflected through the cards. Now, I know every now and then something a little negative come out the cards because you need to be reminded that we're never perfect and there's things that we need to really pay attention to. That little sneaky devil shadow aspect of yourself is always going to try to sneak up on you and knock you off your course. But you got to stay consistent. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to analyze yourself. Situation. People, places, things. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now I think I'm going to pull something different from these cards today. I'm going to pull these instead of these today. You know what I'm saying? Because these is higher self. Alright, give us strength spirit. Now that was love wanting to come out. I'm going to put them back. Because I don't know which one came out first. But let me see. Pull my chair up. All right, Spirit, give us one for each now. I'm going to put them, if they come out, I'm going to put one on each. That little card, keep one to come out, y'all. There's something going on here. Somebody is manifesting in the park. That's for sure. And maybe that's in regards to reveal what needs to be seen. Oh, when you feel comfortable, it takes time. You know, you don't want to get, don't air everything out in one sitting. <laughs> space it out, boo. Space it out. <laughs> Focus on the positive. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear, we don't hear about no war stories. And pay attention if people want to give you war stories, okay? <laughs> now, this one came out first. Now, the strength and pray manifestation is coming together. Now, focus on the positive with alchemy and knowledge is telling you to take the first step. Not everybody going to have a different situation in that regard, but that's what's being asked of you, to take the first step. Now, we'll put one more top. So this was kind of uh, brief. And you have courage with a tune with the divine and mask. Having the courage to take off those masks. 
And at the bottom of the deck is intuition and your third eye. Now your intuition is telling you something about a hustle, gone wild, harvest. But we're going to put one more on top. It's kind of brief. Now tell us more about the manifestation. I kind of like this. It went too. It didn't go too deep. <laughs> Sometimes some some stuff could come out. Now it's got regret, and I know that I cannot change the past. That's why I'm telling you to reveal what needs to be seen. Just have the strength to overcome. You know, come up out of regret. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? People can't accept you for your past. Listen, the H with them. And keep it moving. Uh-huh. Just like I always say, do not let people hold you hostage to your past. Keep it going. Now you have discipline coming out here on focus on the positive. I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. Telling you to take the first step. Now, this does have something to do with you being knowledgeable in regards to being an alchemist and bringing your manifestations into fruition. Going after your dreams, your goals. Doing it. <laughs> Going out there, sticking your feet in the dirt. Putting your hand up in the tree. I don't know. Do something, boo. Now you got loneliness here with courage. Attuned with the divine. I know that I'm never alone with these masks. Being real. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. But growth at the bottom of the deck. Now I see all your little hustles growing with all this harvest and intuition. Your third eye. Just a lot of growth going on here. Your harvest consists of everything. You really connecting with nature, going wild with Leo, focusing on that shadow side, you know, to atone, to get it, to, to, to come up out of it, to come up out of fear. Imagination is on fleet, boo. <laughs> it's on fleet. It's on, it's on overdrive. Do I want to use it? Let's use the other ones this time. We always use those. Let's use these. I'm going to get me some other tarot cards. Something, something that got some other different kind of images. I'm going to beat these up enough. Now you got... Reveal what needs to be seen. Look. Look at her face. What the um, thing on her eyes. The prey and regret. The manifestation. Now there is the number eight. With this right here. Now this could be in regards to relationships. However, I do see you alchemizing. What is this? Now I look like. Now, a lot of people like to see this as. I think you're really trusting in the universe. I ask Spirit that show me different ways to interpret these cards. It's just like, I don't see you, you ain't relying on none of your senses. And I'm just looking at this eight to this nine. And this is nine, nine. Some type of transformation. A new beginning. A new way of saying things? 
coming up out of regret? In regards to relationships? This is how you view the world in general. With strength. It's almost like, <laughs> this is crazy. It's almost like spirit is giving you a magic wand. I just felt so uh, surreal, serene, I want to say. Because look, with judgment and moving to smooth the water. Whatever that is, away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like I don't know, like a fresh start. What am I saying? Leave it in the comment. You know, you you feel it. I'm telling you, it's an end. This even your hard work paying off. Look at that. Nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Right here, something is in alignment, and I'm, it's something that spirit is giving you. I don't think you're gonna see it coming, even though it says reveal what needs to be seen. It's some type of clarity coming your way. I think you're gonna be shouting to the heavens. I had it was dying. I was dying to see what was behind this. Wow. And that was the seven of wands after that um Empress with the strategy, wisdom. Look. Now this is you taking the first step, focusing on the positive with knowledge, and we know. All these swords. That's a lot of knowledge. Whether it be good or bad. With discipline. I can accomplish with my mind. What I set my mind to. Ten. That's a new beginning. That's a lot of information. A lot of downloads. A lot of alchemizing. Again, something is in alignment going on here. And you can definitely be saying 999 because that is here a couple of times with a wish fulfillment, good news, unexpected income, a lot of things coming your way due to your discipline and focusing on the positive, understanding all this. Was for your betterment to get you to see clearly from a space of love. I want to show y'all what how it feel. So we got this right here with the eight of pentacles, the seven to the nine to judgment. Seven, eight, nine. This is you standing up for yourself, being optimistic about this future, working on your pinnacles or whatever else those pinnacles involve you or outside things, your harvest, with justice. And this is what fell over here, the eight. Now you got two eights down here. 
But you're moving on. Leaving that baggage, the emotional baggage behind. Taking the first step. Taking that knowledge with you, though. With discipline and focus. I love it. And this is still at the bottom of the deck. Now you could be set seeing seven, eight, nine, something like that going on. I know I seen it. Did I tell y'all? I seen thirty-three on a door first, a house door. Then I looked over across the street and seen seven, eight, nine. Then I seen one, two, three, four, five was missing. This was all on these doors, garage doors. Now it ain't in business, but somebody had put white chart to put the number on each door. But five was missing. Don't know what that means. Don't know why they didn't put five there, but it ain't like it looked like it was washed away either because the other numbers was so there. I mean, it might have even been paint. Looked like chart though. Now you got the Ten of Pentacles here on a tune with the Divine. With the Eight of Pentacles and an offer. Spirit teaching you how to fish. <laughs> that nine and that eight. That's a wish for them. That's nine cups, y'all. Now you got ten ten down here. Eight, eight, and ten, ten. You put that eight. With either one of them, you got nine nine, and you got an eleven eleven. Yeah, that's that generational wealth. And as I say that, the hierophant will be lined up with that. Which is giving me organizations, beliefs, job opportunities, travel, being praised by your ancestors for taking off those masks. Right there. With 12. I told y'all, these is number 10s. Yeah, it's cards with no number. The king, queen, that's a 10. Twelve, a new door. Now you got the Ten of Wands. This is going to be on the eight. This is what I was actually saying before about uh, Spirit giving you something. It's a new beginning. A new way of saying something in regards to stresses, attitudes. Have your hard work paying off and it's something you don't see something coming. And again, reveal what needs to be seen in regards to any burdens. Don't be forced. Because it's right next to this. And again, I think you're seeing this, these situations from a loving nature. Growing from them. Really attuning with your emotions in regard to them. 
being able to have healthier relationships. Now, it could have something to do with a relationship because it's on the Ace of Wands. But I think, yeah, I think this is really about you more than another relationship, but the relationship that you have with you. With a victory, because I'm looking at this. The past. Discovery. Learning more about you in this journey of life. Ten of Swords. And again, discipline. Focus on the positive. Yeah. Not those swords in your back. You learned a lot, boo. Focus on the positive is bringing it in, boo. Bring it in. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to go get me some fish, y'all. Now, here got a Knight of Cups. Now, it is on the Eight of Cups. And I then, again, see that that's nine cups all together. Some type of wish for family. So, she got your little self together. Some type of offer, good news, messenger. Some type of news coming your way. Could have something to do with what you're working on, travel. Could be this dude, girl. Yeah, collaboration. Something that you manifested in. Seeing the two of pentacles. Something that you're pulling towards you. Something not you're chasing, but you're pulling it. It's coming. Simply by focusing on the positive. And that's how we do that. Now the card is face down, and that's the king. Hmm. Some offer coming your way in regards to what you've been working on, manifesting. This is earthly. This got something to do with that ten over there and that ace. Dedicated, something stable, something solid. Something that you don't see. I said that over there. Something coming that you're going to be celebrating. Yeah, there you go. That was after that. That's that ace. The pinnacle in the page can. <laughs> That's a lot of cards, spirit. Now, I think you're just letting go. You turned your back on things, codependency, but this is a lot of cards. But let's see what it is. But we ain't gonna take all that. Yeah, that's some news. That's gonna turn this situation around. Now, let me know what swords is that. That's seven, ten, which is another eight. All right, what's the higher print? Let's give us one. You could definitely be saying eight, eight, eight. They got an ace. Be nice if it come out, right? What's the higher print? Ace. And a high priestess, an empress. This is what showed up. All right. 
Now I'll take it. We've seen the king of wands. Now we got the... Here she go, right here with the king. Maybe they go together. Something that you've been working on. Some type of offer you've been waiting on. Some type of offer. Now it could be a relationship. Some type of collaboration. Yeah. But again, we're seeing this cup. I think this is spirit offering you something. Something you've been waiting on. Showing you how to fish. Shumpkin. Shumpkin book. A little cup that other cup to add to your other cups. Something. Seven and nine and sixteen, which is a seven. Yeah, some luck, some good coming your way. Tell me you've been waiting on relationships. I see relationships. I even see this could even be you. Creatively, you know, in alignment, travel, growth, hustle, intuition, going wild. Of course, these two is the wildest in the bunch. They all got that fire. They on fleet. However, I think you got your emotions in the right place. Projecting out what you need to project out. Focused on the positive, alchemizing, manifesting. Taking off the mask. Doing a good job, boo. Doing a good job. Let's see what's coming out these cards. They kind of do tell a little bit. In regards to... Uh, what's coming? It's kind of fortune deck. Now you got goals, the sun, and the lion. It's slapped on the lion. But let me see. I'm going to get me some fish. Some red snapper. Now you got the world card coming out here. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Look, right here lining up with the alchemist, taking the first step, discipline, focus on the positive. And it's, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the future ahead. This is at the bottom of the deck. Now, this marriage is any type of collaboration. Friendship, whatever. Oh, you got two. Goals at the bottom of the deck. Progress is positive. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Yeah, with judgment and a journey. Some type of journey. Soul searching will bring you inner peace in many areas of your life. That's right. We talked about all that with that discipline. Look. And pain. Glass card. With a tune with the divide. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Observance of the mass in yourself and other people. And that's your message, darling. Now follow the channel. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you on the next one.